Hello, this is William Bowman and I'm recording this video for Mr. Esteban over at Texas Sun Tree Services. So I want to explain exactly what I found on your website really quick and show you what to change in order to get better results. So in order to do that, I need to explain some things so that you will have an understanding of how to implement those changes and be able to tell when those changes are actually working. Because I mean, honestly, we're after results here, right? So I'll be covering the volume of clients looking for your services in your specific area what your top online competitor is doing to win that volume currently, and things that you can do this exact moment on your site to start winning those clients in the future. So starting out, I just wanted to look over your site. Um, you know, I'm not going to go in and nitpick on any of the design or anything like that. I think it's a well put together site. You have your contact forms, you have your contact uh, numbers, um, you have information about what you guys do. Um, I will, I will note that you probably do want to grab some more content, probably a thousand to fifteen hundred words on the front page is what you should be aiming for. And there's a reason for that. There's a specific reason. Um, the reason for that is because you want to actually be able to fit in more keywords. And what are keywords? Well, keywords are simply just what somebody would throw into Google in order to find your services in their area. So if I was searching for tree services, I might throw in, you know, tree services, San Antonio, and this is, would be my results. So first I'm going to get a bunch of ads, um, which I'm glad to see that you're not up here because a lot of people will just scroll past here. I think for your specific area, the, uh, the click rate for those ads is anywhere between three to 5%. Um, so I'm glad that you aren't paying for those. Um, when we pop in here, I see that we have next is the Google map pack. So the Google map pack, this is, uh, this is a good place to be. If you don't have yourself registered with GMB, it's called Google My Business. I would recommend that you go and set that up. There is a way to optimize it to ensure that you're in the top three. Um, but I want to go ahead and pop into what most people go to, which is called the organic search area. So this is exactly where, uh, you know, you can't pay to be here. This is, you have to basically set up your site properly in order for Google's algorithm to rank you here on the organic search is what they call it. And this is just based off of these keywords. So I'm going to pop into their site. Um, this is the top competitor. Um, you can see that they do have quite a bit of information on the front page. Um, I would say probably about six to 700, but they also have them hidden under these read more. So you can actually go to these uh, other pages that they have linked, but it doesn't, I thought it was a drop down. Anyways, I won't be uh, picking through their site here. I'd rather just show you behind the scenes what they're doing that actually works. So uh, when we pop over here, um, we're going to see their site. So you're going to see a UR, a DR, backlinks, referring domains, organic keywords, and you're going to see how many people on average come to their site every single month. So that is, uh, that is quite a number of uh, people organically, which means that they aren't putting in their website directly into the URL, but they're searching them and finding them through Google. So that's a, that's a great number to have. So let's talk about what they do well. So you have a UR, which is theirs is 31. From a zero to a hundred rate, a 31 is pretty good. A URL is your URL rating. It's basically like the trustability standard for your site. Um, so uh, 31 is, is actually a healthy score, especially being, uh, you know, their number one for this search criteria. So that's, that's, I would expect that score or maybe even 35. But then we're talking about the DR. So a DR is your domain rating. This is like the power or the reputation of your of your site. So or this specific URL in our case. So this is actually pretty surprising. A two point nine out of a hundred. Um, for for this position on the Google search, I would usually see a DR well above fifteen. Um, a DR of two point nine is very easy to beat. Um, and this is when we get into, you know, how do we move these numbers up, right? Well, you move these um, numbers up by getting, you know, you can do it through a number of different ways, but backlinks are a strong way to do that. And, you know, they have 908 backlinks, but you know, what is a backlink? So a, a backlink is simply, if I were like writing a blog and I were to say, Hey, Texas Sun Tree Service, best tree servicing company in the area, go ahead and go use them. And then I put a link to your site. That's an example of a backlink. So it looks like they have 66 different sites, sending them a total of 908 backlinks. I do want to emphasize here quality over quantity. Um, I have seen 10, 15 good quality backlinks beat a thousand if the backlinks are made poorly. And this is quite a bit of backlinks. So I would imagine that some of them are poorly made. Um, they might have like a, a company making these um, that isn't really too intent on making quality ones. They're just trying to put out numbers. Um, because historically they had 1,500. So they're definitely playing the numbers game instead of the quality game. So next let's talk about the actual number of keywords that they're actually ranking for. So if we pop into here, sorry about that. 
So if we pop into here, we're going to see these organic keywords that they're ranking for. We're going to see um, if, you know, Tree Service San Antonio, there is uh, 2,500 people on average every single month that search for this exact keyword. Um, so they are positioned one for that. Um, tree, San Antonio Tree Surgeons, uh, 150 people on average every single month. They're number one for that. Um, certified Arbor San Antonio. So you start seeing that there is quite a bit of volume in San Antonio for people that are actually looking for your services. And I always recommend to do buyer intent words. So Arbor San Antonio or tree service removal. This is tree service removal. This is national. So somebody in Illinois could be looking this up and finding them and they might not be able to help them because they may not have a location in Illinois. So I always recommend people starting with, uh, you know, try and rank for location specific words, unless if you have branches everywhere in the United States. So you get an idea for how many, how much volume is actually searching this on a monthly basis, right? So let's go and look at and see kind of what volume your site's getting right now. So if we see on average zero people every single month are coming to your site. So there is an issue there. And I think it, I think your biggest issue is the, the organic keywords. Um, so you, right now you're ranking for zero. So definitely sprinkle, you know, some of those volume keywords that your competitors are using, you know, tree service San Antonio, some of these definitely start sprinkling those around your pages that you want to rank. You probably want them repeated anywhere between five to six times, which is why you want, you know, a thousand, fifteen hundred words of content so that you can sprinkle them in and it doesn't feel forced. Um, Google will actually dock you points if they think that you are putting, you know, too many of those keywords right next to each other. Um, or, you know, what used to be a tactic by a lot of SEO companies back in the day was, uh, they would make a hidden page and put a bunch of keywords on there. Um, that doesn't work anymore. Google looks for that. Um, and they don't allow you to rank if they find things like that. So it looks like you already have three backlinks. Um, that's great that you already are having those backlinks. Um, looks like you have a, a pretty good one from the home advisor. Um, which looks like it's actually a follow. So that's, that's great, uh, that you have this one. Um, when you notice that it doesn't say no follow, um, that means that it's actually sharing some of this DR with you. Um, so that's probably why your DR is actually moving, um, moving up, which is great. Um, those are the type of backlinks you want. Um, I would recommend going out and creating more backlinks. Um, but quality backlinks like that, like that one from Home Advisor was pretty good. The fact that they did it as a, a, a follow backlink. Which basically just means that the HTML tag at the end of their, of their backlink doesn't have a no follow ish, uh, command. Um, so other than that, um, content, more backlinks. And, um, I think that is it. Unless if you aren't on this Google map pack. And if you aren't on the Google map pack, definitely go and do that. That can bring you, uh, quite a bit of volume. And if you do that in conjunction with your site, it's actually really good for ranking to have your GMB set up because it actually helps the ranking of your site as well. But I hope this information was helpful. Um, let me know uh, what kind of feedback you have regarding this. I just want to hear if you know this information was useful to you, if it's easy for you to implement, um, or if you have any other questions, I'd love to hear that as well. So maybe I can answer those. But thank you so much and I hope you have a great day.